let us now move on to the next approach for querying the database that is using named query and native query in case of named query we will be writing the jpql in the entity class and calling the named query wherever we want in case of named native query we will be writing the sql query in the entity class okay what is the purpose of using named query and native query whenever there are scenarios wherein you want to use the query again and again rather than writing it in the repository you can write it in the entity class itself so that you can avoid typos number 1 number 2 if any of the instance variable name changes or if the query itself has to be changed you don't have to go and change it in multiple places you can change it in one single place that is in the entity class itself now let us jump into the application and start with the named query go to the class which is your entity class here above the class you need to add the annotation at named query this named query takes two attributes the first attribute is name wherein you specify the name of the query the second attribute is the query wherein you pass the original query itself in case of named query you are supposed to pass jpql you can see the example over here at named query name equal to give a name for your query the second attribute is query pass the jpql query itself so let us do that at named query import named query the first attribute is name let us have the name as show by category the second attribute is query within which you need to pass the jpql statement from book b where b dot category equal to question mark 1 see when you are using custom query you will be creating a method annotate the method with at query annotation and you will pass the same query what you are passing here but in case of named query once you are writing the query over here in the entity class you can use this particular query wherever you want just by using the name that is given over here that is the purpose of named query in case of named query you are writing the jpql in one place and using that jpql in multiple places just by the name here the name is show by category let us see how we can use this first let me go to ibook repository this approach is named query list of book find by cat the method name can be anything string category annotate this with at query annotation this time we are going to use an attribute called as name name specifies the name of the query that you have added in the entity class name equal to go to the book class the name that you have added is show by category show by category that's all when you are working with custom query or native query you are supposed to pass the jpql or native sql directly within the at query annotation the problem over here is when you want to use the same query across multiple repositories and later on if they are changing the name of the instance variable or if they are changing the query itself it will become an issue instead if i am going to write the query directly in the book class and later on if they are changing the instance variable name or if they are changing the query itself i don't have to go and change in multiple repositories rather i can come and change here in this entity class itself so the purpose of named query is create the query in the entity class in one single place by giving a name and call the query in different repositories just by using the query name here the query name is show by category now let me go to ibook service for named query let me create a method list of book get books by category see the different approaches the same query can be done in different ways using derived query using custom query using native query or using named query implemented in book service impl call the method of the repository book repository dot find by cat by passing category if you still want to change the name let us change it as find books by cat 
let me go to the main class i'll command the name to query part let us write the code for named query using named query books by category get books by category by passing category tick save and run the application okay here we have got the list of books by category and the query that we are using is the same jpql you will be getting the same sql query select star from book where category equal to question mark there is no change in the query it is just the placement of the query we are not passing the jpql directly within query annotation rather we are adding it in the entity class and using this query wherever we want by the name of the query so this is named query the other one that we are talking about is named native query in case of named native query we will not be using jpql but we will be using native sql that is the difference named native query and this also takes two attributes the first one is the name the second one is the query this time let us get the list of books by author so let me give the name as show by author and write the native sql select star from book where author equal to question mark okay now let me go to ibook repository let me add the appropriate method find books by author string auth the method is show by author remember this is not jpql this is a native query so you need to add the second attribute native query equal to true let us add the same method in ibook service instead of find i will use get books by author implement it in book service impl and call the method of the repository find books by author by passing author come to the main class let us call the method books by author get books by author and give it as robin let me run the application i'll maximize the console here i am getting the list of books by a particular author robin and the query is select star from book where author equal to question mark okay so we have seen both named query and named native query suppose say if i want to add multiple named queries so in that scenario you can go in for one more annotation called as named queries within named queries you can pass multiple named query the attribute for named query is value value equal to it takes an array of named queries within curly braces you can pass multiple named queries so i'll copy this named query and i can add it over here and suppose if i want to add the next named query that also is possible it is something like this let me just show you in a single line so this is my first named query and the second one like show by price from book b where b dot price less than or equal to question mark one so i have commented the first one for this show by price also let us add a method i book repository find books by less price this is double price and here it is show by price i'll copy the same method for i book service instead of find let me use get now implemented in book service impl book repository dot find books by less price by passing price so this time we are using both the queries from at named queries annotation if you are having multiple queries that are common for different repositories then you can use at named queries annotation if you are having a single query then you can use at named query annotation both will work perfectly fine let me go to the main class for this price also we will try it out get books by price less than 1000 save all what is the method get books by less price save all run the application okay. for the last one also i have got the output let me maximize the console get the list of books having the price below 1000 i have got three book objects similar to named queries you also have named native queries that you can try it out named native queries when you are using named native queries you can pass multiple named native query wherein the query type will be native sql statement okay this is about named query and native queries 